Hi everyone. I um, wanted to share a moment with you right now. I um, received this fragrance and I don't even know what to expect about it. I feel like it's going to be love at first sight or it's going to be love over time as we get to know each other better. But either way, this is an amazing fragrance. I will show you what it is now. I got this off of eBay, United States. And um, I don't know for sure if it's the right um, version because it's not the right color sprayer. I'll tell you that already. It's not the right color of sprayer. It's a black sprayer instead of a silver sprayer. Can you guess what, which, which special fragrance that Ramsey loves um, might be that you would look for the silver sprayer instead of the black sprayer? All right, so what I've got here today is a Chanel product. It's my first um, sealed Chanel, sealed Chanel. I have Coco Chanel um, in a mini, like a really small mini. I have that for photography purposes and I decanted it. So I'm, I really, I used every bit except for the last one quarter, which I always have to save for my perfume library. But this is Chanel. It's Antaeus Pour Home. And I don't know if it's the right one because it doesn't have the right color of sprayer according to the video that I saw the most recently where he speaks about this. So this is black sprayer, Chanel Antaeus. This is a medium to long ingredients list. Not good. It doesn't look good. But see, this is unsealed, and um, if I open it now, I get to experience it. If I open it now, I may or may not get to return it. No, it's not returnable. I'm going to keep it. I like to leave the shrink wrap on if, if it's not too annoying, because it protects the box. And I need all the protecting I can get, because I'm very clumsy. So... Ooh, this is a fancy Chanel bottle. This is like lacquered. All right, would you like to see what's inside here? Black sprayer. I like to make sure it's facing forward for spray. Hmm. So I want to say before I tell you about spraying it, because I haven't sprayed it yet. There's no spray gone through here yet. I can tell because you can't you can't smell it. So that means that there's no spray gone through. So um, I'm I want, I'm here to advocate for us to treat these perfumes with respect. They have been through a lot and they are continuing to change all the time. They don't even know who they're becoming or who they were because they're being formed and created right now. Or were you know but their their molecules are make, creating bonds and attachments they're creating a whole society in this bottle um from the time they were made um and i think that maybe as they get older they might get better um anyway this is my first like brand new chanel product it's a men's fragrance um on Teus pour home i really hope this is going to be not a disappointment i mean it's chanel right Oh, nice spray. It's a it's a luxury sprayer. It has it. It has like a shock on it. It's got like this really nice little spring. It actually feels nice. Okay, here here we go. Okay. This is a good. Oh my god! I know why he likes this. They all have that animalic stuff that he loves. Oh my god! This is luxury right here. This is a luxury fragrance. I don't care if it's silver sprayer or not. This is a. This is a. This is a high classic. This is like, I better be wearing a suit or at least dress shoes every time I put this on. But I'm not, I'm not into limitations. In fact, I should be able to spray this before bed for goodness sakes. I'm back. It's just a few minutes after I spray this. I don't even know what to think of this. I can't tell you the notes. I can tell you there's aldehydes. That's, that's for sure. They're fine. There's like a velvety um, aspect to the aldehydes. In fact, this is a velvety kind of fragrance. I can feel it. 
it's warm and velvety kind of like lukewarm it's not like super warm it's kind of on the cooler side of warm so um this is a class act that's what i will say about this this is a class act this is a classy classy fragrance it could definitely be it's very unisex it is not a poor home type it is a poor unisex whatever however you say that in french i don't know how do you say unisex in french it, it probably sounds dirty i feel like i'm almost not quite ready for this one i still don't feel like wow this is one of those extremely complex fragrances there's like several perfumes separately made in here and then they get put together and they've bonded together first and then they get put in here and it's like layers i mean it's amazing um perfumery is actually some type of magic i will tell you um because we really don't know how those particular elements will combine and what's going to happen and and what people will think because there's only it's so subjective. That's why there's so much magic involved, because it's subjective. 